All right, guys. So I'm back for the cashers round here at the PBA Minster Regional Camera Roofing Classic, I believe it's called. And as you can see here, I've started off with a new ball of choice, and that is the Black Widow Ghost. I remember I tried a bunch of balls in practice, and they just every single ball just kept hooking. And I remember a specific instance where I watched the 2023 um, Tour Finals, I believe. And I remember watching Dom throw this Black Widow Ghost of 500, or like just with a lot of surface on it. And so I was like, hmm, it actually might look all right. Because, of course, with the white pigmentation, as studies have shown from USBC, um, the white pigment is much slower, right? The lighter colored pigments are going to uh, make the ball want to slow down. Um, I don't know why that is scientifically, but I do know that uh, studies have shown that. So when I saw Dom do that, and I was like, hold on a minute, I as well have a Black Widow Ghost. Why don't I try that? And I tried it out in practice a couple times, like, uh, prior to the uh, tournament. And, you know, just just because. <laughs> Man, it just happened to look really good. So, so yeah, so I just rolled with it with this tournament. I just tried out the strategy and it happened to work out, which was nice. Um, but I ball changed the Innervator solid there because I'm pretty sure going into this pair, I thought I saw a bunch of urethane going down the lane. So I was trying to anticipate, you know, maybe the ball would get through the front a little better than that. And then like hit that urethane push down and then kind of like, you know, try and make a move. But unfortunately that didn't happen. So I just went back to the ghost and I moved right, obviously a little too far right there, but it was still kind of concerning because... There's still a lot of early hook there, but usually it hadn't been hooking that early before. So that was kind of concerning. So now I move left into it, and both times it goes through it, but this time it went all the way through it, which is quite unfortunate, but, you know, it is what it is. And then I make another beast move there and go more up the lane, and it just never hooks. <laughs> so uh, Clearly a ball change needs to be made here. And I'm going to ball up to the Innovator Solid again and like just trying to kind of slow it down and get it to that spot. Like kind of just get left and slow down and get to the spot. It looks all right right here. I mean, you know, I got a couple of splashing hits, but you know, it is what it is. That one was not the greatest of all time, but then, uh, well, I mean, yeah, that was a bad result. Bad shot, bad result. <laughs> bad shot, bad result. Uh, great combination there. <laughs> So then I decided to ball up even further to the mindset at uh, surface. I don't actually know if it's 500, but I just said it just because. <laughs> and it definitely looks a lot better. I mean, you can clearly see that it is much more controllable shape. If I'm not going to change any physical parameters about my game, then, you know, the mindset looks good for what I'm trying to do. Oh, baby, come on. Are we serious right now? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this mindset is looking good right now. Definitely the right ball uh, for the angle that I'm trying to go for and for the uh, for the attack that I'm trying to do uh, physically. Uh, I mean, I mean, yeah, it's good, you know. And this is huge right here. This is a huge game. Oh, baby, come on. Give me that messenger. One time, baby. One more time. One more time. And... Oh, man. The run is stopped yet again by another great shot for me. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I mean, at this point, plus 87 was, like, probably 70 out. And the cut wasn't going down. So, I mean, that, like, 6-3 was a huge miss. I mean, also, too, you know, I could have just not missed the head pin left there. <laughs> but, but who's to say I wouldn't have gotten nine? I mean, honestly, like that right there. See, I could have gotten that, that last shot. Dude. No. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, still a solid game. I believe the cut actually kind of stayed even or went down after this. 
So I'm going to hit plus 120 here with a 233 that game. And I probably need like 250 to like be a bubble number, but like 270 to be in for sure is what I'm thinking. But actually the scoring pace was slowing down to the left and right of me as I was noticing. Um, You know, this is of course only 18 lane center, so I was noticing it. Uh, that the scoring pace was going down, but it was. But I also kind of needed some strikes, and that doesn't help. That doesn't help. The eight one there doesn't help. Um, <laughs> it is what it is. But uh, okay, moving on here, and strike. And you know, of course, I changed the innovator solid because well, I thought that the mindset was just a little too weak. Oh baby, come on, give me that strike. Come on. And uh, my ball was getting pretty slimy and oily at this point. I kind of didn't really need to, like, go to the animator solid, but I felt like I did. I don't know. It was, like, a weird move, to be honest. But, like, yeah. At this point, I kind of knew I was out of it, but I was like, eh. I still tried, and then I got seven, and then at that point I knew I was out of it. But, I, but see, this is where I was... was was like I should have stayed in the mindset because that seven out was like, oh my gosh, like <laughs> that wasn't that bad. So you know, uh, it is what it is. Um, you know, I I will accept the results uh, with with a lot of gratitude. I mean, like, you know, that kind of stuff happened. You know, was, oh, oops, that should be uh, two hundred seven. But oh well, <laughs> it was really nice to to be in the cash there and to to see decent shapes and to you know, give it my best. So I'll see you guys later.